He is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. <laughs> Welcome to our uh, Easter morning streaming worship service here at uh, First St. Paul's Lutheran Church. We are so glad that uh, you've joined us this morning for our Easter worship. Uh, just a couple of items before we begin. Um, this week, watch Facebook for upcoming announcements and updates uh, from the church, and there will be no midweek services this week. I would also like to introduce myself. I'm Raleigh White. This is Ann Otten. Uh, Pastor Joel Remmers will be preaching this morning. And back in production this morning, we've got Dale Schultz, Chad Power, and Braden Power. And we're, we're very thankful for them and all that they're doing to uh, help us worship this morning. So with that, let's uh, join our voices together in the call to worship. Jesus Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. The stone which the builders rejected has, has become, become the, the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. And, and it is marvelous, marvelous in our, our eyes. eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let, Let us, us rejoice, rejoice and, and be, be glad, glad in it. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship him with gladness. Come, Come before, before him, him with, with joyful, joyful song. song. For Jesus Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Oh, 
mercy. We, we no, no longer, longer look for, for Jesus, Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with Christ and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hi, kids. Happy Easter. Oh, it's Easter. He has risen. Jesus has risen. This is so exciting today. You know what? Even though you can't be here this morning with me, I know that you're at home and you have your really pretty dress on, or I'll bet you even have a nice shirt on with some nice pants, and you're going to celebrate Easter at home. That'll be nice. Oh, kids, did you go look for your basket yet? Huh, I did. I got up really early in the morning, and I want to show you what the Easter Bunny brought me. First, he brought me these bunny ears. I love them, and I think I'm going to wear them today. And then he brought me a Frisbee, and it says, Happy Easter on it. And you know what? I was going to throw it out today. But I think with the bad weather, I will probably have to wait until a nicer day. And then he brought me this nice Easter basket. And I've got to show you what's in it. First, he brought me peeps. Oh, I love peeps. But I think my Easter bunny was colorblind because I like purple better than blue. But you know what? I'll eat them anyways because they're so good. Then he. Oh, he brought me a lot of candy. And you know what? I ate all my candy but one. And this is a chocolate Easter egg with marshmallow in it. So I guess I'll have to eat that later on. I hope you didn't eat all your candy at once like I did. And then he gave me a note in the basket. And he said, please open my eggs as they are numbered. They will tell you the Easter story from the Easter Bunny. So I've got my eggs in here, so I guess I'll just start, I'll start looking for number one. Oh, here's number one. I wonder what's in number one. Oh, the cross. Do you remember what this is all about with the cross and why that was so important? Right, Jesus died on the cross for your sins and for my sins and for everybody's sins. Okay, now let's see. Number two is right here. Number two. I wonder what's in here. <gasps> oh, three nails. Do you remember why the three nails were so important with our Easter story? You're right. When Jesus was put on the cross, remember what they did? They put one nail in one hand, and then he pounded another nail in the other, and they put his feet together, and they pounded one. They took three nails. But you know what? The nails that they had were much bigger than these nails, and when they did that, Oh, kids, he was in so much pain, and he was bleeding, and I'm sure he even cried. But you know what? He died on the cross for you and for me and for everybody for our sins. He loves us so much. Now, I wonder what's in the, thir the third one, the egg number three. Ready? Oh. A stone. Do you remember why this was so important at Easter time? Remember after Jesus had died on the cross and then they took him and then they put him in a, 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 a well, it was a grave or a tomb. Um, I'm going to call it maybe even like a cave. 
and they put his body in there, and then they rolled a big stone, but I'm talking a big stone that they rolled, a really big one, and they put it right in front of the, from where he was, and, and they put two guards on each side, and you know why they did that? Because they didn't want anybody to take Jesus or steal him, so they were going to guard people from coming inside. So they put the stone there. Oh, dear, I wonder. The next one, number four. I wonder what's in here. <gasps> Nothing. It's empty. My Easter egg is empty. And do you know why this is so important? Because the next day, Mary came early in the morning, and she kind of she kind of tiptoed around. She was really scared because it was really early, and it was kind of still dark out. And she came to to the cave, and guess what had happened? The stone was gone. The big stone had been moved. And, and so she went up there, and she peeked in, and there was an angel. And the angel said, don't be afraid. He is risen. What, she was, what he was saying, Jesus has risen from the grave. He's not in here. That is such good news, kids. That's why we celebrate Easter. Oh, I have one more, number five, but it's not in an egg. I wonder what this is. The Easter Bunny must have had to really do some special wrapping for me. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a banner. He is risen. This is what it's all about, kids. He is risen. He's not in the grave. Oh, and he's come alive, and he's in our hearts. And I was wondering, could you say this with me today? Because you know what? This is what we want to tell our kids, our friends, and our parents. We want to tell everybody, even your grandpa and grandma on the phone. You say, he is risen. Jesus is risen. Can you say that on the count of three with me and say it really loud so everybody can hear it? One, two, three. He is risen. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for doing this for us. Thank you that, that he came and, and he loves us so much. He, and he died and he rose. And oh, kids, Jesus loves you so much. Remember that. So you today have a wonderful and blessed, blessed Easter. Let us pray. Dear God, we are happy today because of Jesus is risen from the cave or tomb. And he lives with us forever. We know Jesus loves us and we love Jesus. And all God's kids said, Amen. Happy Easter.
Our first reading is from the 31st chapter of Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness when Israel sought for rest. The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again, you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. And the second reading is from Acts 10, verses 34 to 43. The Gentiles hear the good news. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, reaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins, his name. One day when heaven was filled with his praises one day when sin was as black as could be jesus came forward to be born of a virgin dwelt among men my example is he the word became flesh and light shined among us his glory revealed living he loved me Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Rising, he justified freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious day, oh glorious day. Calvary's mountain One day they nailed him To die on a tree Suffering anguish Despised and rejected Bearing our sins My Redeemer is he And the healed nations Stretched out on a tree He took the nails from me Living he loved me Dying he saved me, buried he carried my sins far away. Rising he justified freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious day, oh glorious day. One day the grave could conceal him. One day the stone rolled away from the door 
When the arose over death he had conquered Now is ascended, my Lord evermore Death could not hold him, grave could not keep him From rising again Living he loved me, dying he saved me Buried he carried my sins far away Rising he justified freely forever One day he's coming, oh glorious day Oh glorious day Oh glorious day One day the trumpet will sound for his coming One day the skies with his glories will shine Wonderful day my beloved one bring him my Savior Jesus is mine Living He loved me Dying He saved me Buried He carried My sins far away Rising He justified Freely forever One day He's coming Oh glorious day Oh glorious day Just before he died and gave up his spirit, Jesus proclaimed, It is finished. Finish it seemed, seemed to be a, a terrifying and hopeless word. Very early in the morning, the women came to the tomb and found the stone rolled away and the tomb empty. Finished and empty. Empty, empty and, and finished. finished. Terrifying, terrifying and hopeless. The angels appeared and asked the question, why do you look for the living among the dead? Terror, Terror became, became per being perplexed, perplexed and hopelessness, hopelessness became, became confused. confused. The angels proclaimed, He is risen. Remember how he told you. Remembering spurred faith, and faith, and faith, faith is, is the assurance, assurance of things, of things hoped for, hope, and the, the conviction, conviction of, of things, things not, not seen. seen. Remembering triggered hope, and hope will not disappoint us. Remembering, Remembering inspired, inspired love, and no, and no greater, greater love has a, has a man, man than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. friends. Easter is when Jesus had the power to lay down his life. The power, the power to take, take it, it up, up again. again. What is actually finished? Death, Death is finished. finished. Sin, Sin is finished. finished. Guilt is finished. Fear is finished. finished. Because he is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. The gospel reading for us today is taken from the gospel according to Luke, the 24th chapter. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostle. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, 
Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Welcome to Easter. There's a song, not too popular really. Um, it's performed by an artist that maybe you have not heard of before. His name's Tom Rush. I hadn't heard of him before this last week either. But he does sing a song which at least gets us into the point that I would like to try to make um, for today. Um, the song is entitled The Remember Song, and it goes like this, at least in part. I'm looking for my wallet and car keys. Well, they can't have gone too far. Just as soon as I find my glasses, I'm sure I'll see where they are. I'm supposed to meet somebody for lunch today, but I can't remember where or who it is that I'll be meeting. It's in my organizer somewhere. Okay, so how many of you have ever had trouble remembering something at some point in time or another during your lives? Yeah, yeah, me too. See, memory is a funny thing. Um, sometimes I can remember the smallest details, and I can remember that type of thing for years. I mean, if you ask my wife, she will tell you that when we go traveling, we go through a town that we've been through before. I can tell you what restaurant we ate there, probably what I ordered, and whether or not I liked it. But then there are other times when, well, let's just say I can forget the smallest or the most important things that are there. From what I understand about memory, it gets harder. It gets more difficult, I'm not going to say when we get older, that would probably be a sermon for another day. What the point I want to make is, is that it gets harder to recall things. It gets more difficult to remember things if we have experienced a stress or a loss or a trauma or a conflict. And when I started to think about that and realize that the gospel lesson, you know, the Easter story from the gospel according to Luke today actually makes a little bit of sense to me when it starts to talk about how early in the morning on the first day of the week, when the women were coming to the tomb of Jesus, they were carrying spices. We might ask the question, why were they carrying spices? Why were they going to the tomb? Why were they carrying spices? And the answer to that might, might be, Well, they were going to anoint the body of Jesus, or they were going and they wanted to make sure that the odor from the tomb would be covered, or they wanted to make sure that they fulfilled proper first century Israel burial practices and customs at the time. And all of those things would be true. Those would be correct. But they're not exactly, I think, that the point that the text leads us to today. So if you want to know why they were carrying the spices and what the text has to say about that, 
I think that the reason that they're carrying the spices is because they forgot. It's because they didn't remember. If you want to know what they forgot, then we have to go back to the story. And it said, when they got to the tomb, they found that the stone had been rolled away. And because the stone is rolled away, they enter the tomb. And when they get there, they find there's no body, and they are perplexed by that. No wonder that they were terrified then when two men in dazzling clothes come and stand next to them. I mean, after all, they had just been through a lot. The women had gone through the stress of watching Jesus be captured. They had gone through the conflict that took place between Jesus and the Romans, between Jesus and the Jewish authorities. They'd gone through the trauma of the crucifixion, and they'd gone through the loss of their beloved leader, and so they were terrified, or maybe we could say in the tomb they were terrified again, or they were terrified more. So they bow their heads, and they don't say anything. So it's the angels that do the talking, and they ask the question, why do you seek the living among the dead? And there's no answer. So the angels continue, he is not here. And then the angels proclaim perhaps the three words, the three most significant words that have ever been uttered in all human history. He is risen. And when we read the story, I'm afraid that sometimes we turn our brains off at that point in time. We just want to celebrate the miracle of the resurrection at that point in time, and we don't listen too much to the rest of the story at that point in time. But after the angels say, he is risen, after that, the angels tell the women to remember. They say, remember how Jesus told you that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners, must be crucified, and then on the third day he will rise again. The text does not say that the women believed because they were standing next to angels. The text does not say that the women had faith because they had heard what the angels had to say. Instead, the text does say that after having their memory jogged by the angels, after being reminded I mean, who could blame them for forgetting after the stress, the conflict, the trauma, and the loss they'd experienced? But after being reminded, the text does say, then they remembered Jesus' words. Then they remembered Jesus' words. And remembering those words, they were then inspired to go out and remind everybody else. You know, Peter and James and the boy. So I thought about that for today. In the midst of everything that's going on with us, with the midst of everything that happens with viruses and shutdowns and confusion and fear and uncertainty and employment and fluctuating stock markets, it's easy really for us to forget right now. It's easy not to remember the kind of God that we actually believe in, the kind of God that we actually worship, the kind of God that we actually follow. Our God is a God who loves to bring things back. Our God is a God who loves to take things and lift them up from their graves. Our God is a God who loves to resurrect things when we think all is gone, all is dead, and all is finished. He did it with Israel after the Babylonians attacked and carried them off into slavery. He did it with Elijah, with a widow's son. He did it with Hezekiah against the Assyrians. He did it through Jesus with Lazarus and with the widow of Nain's son and with Jairus' daughter. He did it through St. Paul in the book of Acts with a guy by the name of Eutychus when Paul was a preaching apparently too long and the guy fell asleep and fell out a window. I think I've preached that sermon before. And he did it in Jesus Christ so that we could proclaim today, he is risen, he is risen indeed. God apparently loves to heal 
God apparently loves to restore. God apparently loves to resurrect the things that we injure, we break, and we kill. Today, so, today maybe we just need to remember. Maybe we just need to be reminded. Maybe we just need to have our memories jogged as to what kind of God we adore and what he has already done. Because if we believe that God is the same yesterday, and if we believe that God is the same today, and if we believe that God is the same forever, then what God has done in the past, he is going to do now, and he is going to continue to do for us in the future. And so believing that, even if we have unleashed a pandemic, from what I understand came from the wet markets in China, God is not going to leave us to We will rise again. I don't know about you, sometimes I need to be reminded. But today is a great day to be reminded of that because Jesus Christ is risen, and he is risen indeed. And just because economies fault, God is not going to leave us to that. Because our God is a God of resurrection and bringing things back. And I know that because today is Easter, and Jesus Christ is risen. And he is risen indeed. And just because we are basically sheltering in place, basically quarantining ourselves and basically social distancing from one another, he won't leave us to that because God desires, God desires to help put things back together. I know that because death and fear and isolation are not God's final word. Life and hope and resurrection are because he is risen, because Jesus Christ rose from the dead, because he is risen indeed. It is Easter. And sometimes, Sometimes I just need to be reminded. Sometimes I just need to have my memory jogged because, quite frankly, that song that I sang in the beginning just seems to strike a little bit too close to home. I'm looking for my wallet and car keys. Well, they can't have gone too far. Just as soon as I find my glasses, I'm sure I'll see just where they are. See, maybe... Just maybe when I listen to the voice of the angels that are around me, when I listen to the voice of history and how God has spoken through it, when I listen to the voice and I'm reminded of the voice of Jesus, then I will remember. I will remember he is risen. Don't, don't despair. It's just three days in a tomb before we rise. Who knows? Maybe after that time is over, we'll have another worship service that will be Easter. But here, together, we will rise. In fact, that's the next song. I will rise. I've come to know Though my heart and flesh may fail There's an anchor for my soul I can say it is well Jesus has overcome And the grave is over Darkness breaks to light, and 
the shadows disappear And my faith shall be my eyes Jesus has overcome And the grave is overwhelmed The victory is won He is risen from the dead And I will Let us confess together what we we believe in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God is son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my 
my Savior lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, all fear is gone, because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. My chains are gone, I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow, because he lives. All fear is gone, because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living, just because he lives. And life is worth the living just because he lives. We would like to take this opportunity to thank several people that have uh, made this service possible this morning, including uh, Three for Thee, who we just heard um, with that lovely offertory. Um, We'd also like to thank Becky Conway. Uh, for playing the organ this morning, and uh, we would also like to thank Miss Becky for her children serving this sermon this morning. Um, that was awesome. It was so it was. Um, Easter Bunny ears and <laughs> it was really really good. So thank you, Becky. Yes, and we would also like to thank Jody Montague and Alexa Hines. Um, they are both um, uh, employees at our church that work in the office and and have done an amazing job today with our Easter garden. You've seen some behind us. You've seen many flowers over um, behind Pastor when he did his sermon. Um, There is a full uh, paper in our bulletin today that is just um, completely full of names that have um, either given a plant in honor of a loved one or in a memory of um, someone who made a difference in their lives. And we just want to thank um, Alexa and Jody for all of their hard work to make our church beautiful this morning and also to help us remember our loved ones. So thank you. And now the prayers of the church. Please respond with hear our prayer. O risen Christ, we remember the tomb that was found to be empty. And we ask today that all that we find to be fear-inducing, all that we find to be life-draining, 
might be emptied of its power over us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. O risen Christ, we remember the stone that was found to be already rolled away. And we ask today that those obstacles which we sometimes deem to be too heavy, to be too big, to be too immovable for us on our own, might be already rolled away in the certainty of your love, your strength, and your resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O risen Christ, we remember how you sent angels to proclaim the good news of your resurrection. And we ask today that you again would send your messengers to announce, to proclaim, to reassure us so that despair would give way to hope, so that hate would give way to love, so that doubt would give way to faith, so that fear would give way to the victory of your continual presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O oh, risen Christ, as the women were asked to remember all that you had done and said before your crucifixion while you were still in Galilee, teach us not to only remember days like Easter, but all you said, all you did, all you taught, all you showed in your whole ministry, so that our whole lives might declare the power of your victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. No risen Christ, for all who struggle with illness or injury, and for those who work to heal, for all who have passed into your near presence, peace and glory, and for those who mourn their absence among us, for all who are persecuted throughout the world, and for those who do the persecuting, we lift the world to you, asking you and asking that you would continue to save, redeem, and make whole. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And O risen Christ, as you defeated death on that first Easter, we beg you today that you would act and defeat the pandemic of COVID-19. Lord, in your mercy, hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We ask all this in the name of the risen Lord who can do all things. Hallelujah, he is risen today. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our, Hear our prayer. Now, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. I know that my Redeemer lives, what comfort this sweet sentence gives. He lives, he lives, who was, was, dear. He is my head.
Savior still the same. What joy His blessed assurance gives. I know that my Redeemer lives. He filled with peace for you. He is risen indeed. Okay. Be filled with, with peace, for he, he is, is risen. risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Happy Easter.